Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to answer a question we get an awful lot on the channel. How loud is the Mavic Mini? Now, where I think this question may be coming from is there are a lot of folks out there that are considering joining the hobby, and they're looking at the Mavic Mini as their first purchase. I also know seasoned pilots, like myself, that own a few drones already, and we're always on the hunt for something smaller that's easy to bring along on vacation, that we can throw into a backpack or a suitcase and not have to worry about bringing it along, but we want a drone that's still going to capture some great footage and take some beautiful pictures. And the Mavic Mini is really the perfect drone for both of those scenarios, because for new pilots, it's incredibly easy to fly this. In a couple of minutes, you can charge it up, have it up in the air, and capture some amazing footage. And for seasoned pilots, it's just a whole lot of fun to fly, because it's a small drone that flies like a big drone, because DJI's taken all their wizardry that they've built into the larger drones and somehow shrunk it down into a tiny little package that really just flies like a much bigger drone, and it's a lot of fun to fly, it takes amazing footage out there in the field, and it's become my go-to drone for travel. Now, where I think the noise question's coming from, especially with new pilots, is that we all remember the first time we put a drone up, and there's really two things you're concerned about. You're certainly concerned that the drone is flying like you want it to fly, but you're also a little bit worried that somebody behind you is going to tap you on the shoulder and go, hey, what are you doing with that drone? So creating noise is something that will draw attention to you. And with new pilots, I think they're worried that if the drone's noisy and they're on a beach and they're having fun flying it, they're going to draw attention to themselves and people are going to want to know what they're doing with the drone. With seasoned pilots, we're used to noise because we fly bigger drones. Every drone out there makes noise because it's got to move air around, so it's going to disturb the air. But the trick is, it's, it's two components, really. It's how loud is it and how annoying is it? And I'm going to go through this in a couple of minutes to show you the amplitude, which is how loud the drone is, which really isn't the part of a drone's noise, for lack of a better term, that people are annoyed by. It's really the frequencies it generates or the frequency profile that the drone generates. And what DJI's done with the Mavic Mini is somehow they're defying the laws of physics because typically small drones like this have to spin their propellers a lot faster to keep themselves in the air. And when you spin the propellers faster, you get that whiny kind of sound out of the drone, which is really annoying to most people. It's sort of like a bunch of bees heading your direction. This one, because the physics behind it, is not only less noisy from an amplitude perspective, but it's less annoying as well. So I'll give you the examples because what I'm going to do in this clip is show you, number one, the amplitude with an audio meter so you can see exactly how loud it is. And then I'll fly it near me and show you how it almost becomes silent in the air when you get it far enough away from you. Unlike a lot of other drones, you can still pick out 50 feet or 100 feet away. So I'll do that next, and then I'll come back with some conclusions at the end. But if you're looking for <laughs> a drone that's incredibly fun to fly and that's really pretty quiet in the air, this Mavic Mini is the one you want to own. So stay tuned and I'll show you those tests next. Another reason to love the Mavic Mini is its low sound profile. And what I mean by that is every quad makes noise when you put it up in the air because it's moving a lot of air. And some quads tend to be very noisy when they're up there. And that has to do with their propeller design, the type of motors the company's using, and the ESCs that actually drive those propellers. What DJI has done is really focused on that technology to improve two things. Number one, the loudness, which is the amplitude of the sound. And more importantly, the sound profile, which are the frequencies that the actual quad generates when it's flying. So it tends to be less loud and less annoying when it's flying. So I want to show you how that works because it's really important if you're flying this in public places, you're not going to fly over somebody, but if you're flying near people, you don't want them noticing the quad because of the sound and then start scanning the perimeter looking for the person flying it to come over and ask you a lot of questions. So a quiet quad is a good quad when you're in public areas. What I'd like to do is to show you a couple of things. First, I'll put the quad up pretty much at shoulder height. I'll listen to it with this audio meter and give you a DBA reading of it just sitting there. And then I'll actually fly it in a condition where I'd normally fly it in the field. I'll start at 50 feet away, 50 feet up and then 100 feet away, 100 feet up, and you can hear the difference where I'm standing of how loud the quad is. I promise you, when you get about 75 feet away or 75 feet up, it's almost silent. You almost can't hear it. It's uh, actually quieter than geese flying by. I had a big flock go by before, and they're pretty loud in the air. So stay tuned, and I'll share you those two tests. Before I do the audio test on the Mavic Mini, I wanted to give you a bass sound level for this field that I'm standing in because obviously there are noises in the field that are natural, and the Mavic Mini is going to add to that sound level. So right now, without me talking, I'm at a 44.8, so that's the base level of sound in this field. Now I'll put the Mavic Mini up again a couple of feet away from me, and we'll measure it again and see how much more noise the Mavic Mini adds to this environment. Okay, I've got the Mavic Mini about six feet away from me, six feet in the air, and I've got an audio level of 58 dBA, which is about 13 dBA louder than the background noise in this field, so it is pretty quiet even this close in. What I'm going to do next is fly it out 50 feet, 
50 feet in the air, we'll listen to it. Then I'll put it at 100 feet at 100 feet in the air, and we can compare the two noise levels. I've got a microphone on my shirt in the front, so it'll be like you're listening to it where I'm standing. And I think you'll find the further it gets away, it almost disappears when it's flying. So let's take a look at that next. Okay, I'll take her out to 50 feet. Now that's right at 50 feet, and even at ground level, it's almost silent. But let me take it up 50 feet, because you're going to fly it higher than that. All right, that's 50 feet out and 50 feet up. Now if I listen, I can definitely pick that out, but there's so much background noise between the woods and the traffic and cars going by. I'm hearing everything else more than I'm hearing the drone. So let me take it a little further out and a little further up. Okay, now it's out 100 feet. It's still at a 50 foot height. I can't hear it at all. Let me turn this way so the microphone's facing it. Yeah, again, totally silent to me. But let me take it up because I don't fly at 50 feet. If I'm anywhere near people, I'm gonna typically be over 100 feet or at 100 feet. Just to get around them, I wouldn't fly over them, obviously, but if I'm flying near them in a public place to get to a location where I want to take that shot or record some video, I'm typically up at 100 feet. So let me take her up to 100. All right, that's 75. I can still pick it out if I'm looking for it, but if you're sitting here, I don't think you'd even notice it, but let me go up to 100. All right, that's 100 feet. A car just whizzed by, so that's going to that's gonna make it a little loud. As soon as that disappears, let's listen. Oh, there goes another car. All right, so to me, and I'm trying. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's silent. So what I love about it, again, is that the way I fly when I'm on vacation, again, I'm typically 100 feet up when I'm around people, but even coming down lower, I felt very comfortable with that at 50 feet not being terribly annoying if I was at least 50 feet away from people. And that's perfect for me because most of the shots I do are pretty high up and then down on a particular target. But knowing I can come down to about 50 feet and not have people immediately swing to see the drone and then start scanning looking for me who's flying it uh, is a really good thing. So I think that proves just how quiet this drone is. I hope those examples were helpful in showing you just how quiet this Mavic Mini is when it's flying. Now to give you some reference points to compare to, from the amplitude side, when I had the drone up about six feet in the air, about six feet away from me, I was reading 58 dBA on the audio meter. To put that in perspective, that noise level, that amplitude level, is about what you'd hear in an office, or if you take your family out to dinner and it's a busy restaurant, sitting at that table, you're gonna hear about 60 dBAs of background noise. From a frequency perspective, I think they've done a great job to tamp down the annoying frequencies, so it's really, really quiet in the air, but the annoying factor is a little bit different, a little bit more complex than that, because as creatures, we don't notice random noise as much. So when you're out in nature and a tree branch snaps or something happens over there, it's a random noise, we don't pay much attention to it. But one thing that drives us crazy as humans is a repetitive noise. So when it's generating frequencies, some of those frequencies are gonna be generated all the time by the drone, and we tend to key in on that, and that's what catches our attention, it's just the way we're built. So the repetitive frequencies in this are low enough where they're not that annoying. And again, when I got a 50 feet away, I know I'm getting a little bit older, but I was listening as hard as I could to try to pick that out. And if I was looking for it, maybe I heard it, but if I wasn't looking for it, that drone could have gone past me and I wouldn't have noticed it at all. So I think it's an incredibly quiet drone and really the perfect one to take with you on vacation. So I hope you found this clip helpful. I really love doing these kind of clips where I dive into the technology. So again, if you're enjoying them, I'm gonna to continue to do them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing by hitting that icon down there in the corner. I've got a lot more content coming for the Mavic Mini, Evo 2, Skydio 2, and a bunch of new drones that are gonna hit this spring. So stay tuned to the channel for details on those. We also have a ton of accessories for the Mavic Mini. I've got a link below where you can go to our website. If you want to support us, hit that link and buy a couple of accessories to enhance your flying experience. That's pretty much it for me today. So thanks and all fly for watching. And until next time, happy flying.